Beaverworks Diecast Racing, your source for diecast racing action. Welcome back, Diecast Racing fans and beaver lovers out there. I might as well throw in maple syrup, back bacon, and poutine. It's Beaverworks Diecast Racing and their friends over at the Igloo Proving Grounds bringing you the final round of the Beaverworks Stone Road Open Group for Round 2. And this is the six-car group where we had all sorts of action in the first round. Numbskull coming down and here is first one to lead the three first drivers that made excellent runs. There's Speedball Herman coming down down over the line and then there was Steve Chase finishing it off on two wheels there slowed down a little bit after that we had Giorgio didn't make it down and then right after that baby cookie didn't get a good run either got buried in that Ford Bronco and then Dr. Dodge sisters of the heavy metal cooking up a brisket all the way down there that was excellent let's get up to the top and check them out How's it going, folks? Lance here, and I'm with Numbskull's Dodge D200. It's sporting the factory lift, and he has got extra weight added just right to put some good runs down so far. I'm Lester with Speedball Herman from Gravity Throttle Racing's Jeep. He's riding the extra weight on the outside, and he's got the longest distance in the second round. Looked awesome, too. And there's Steve Chase from Chase Family Racing's Power Wagon. And after its best time in the first run, he has got this truck dialed in just right. Got the family emblem on the roof and the flames. Looks awesome. Back down to you, voice. All right, enough with the opening fluff. It's the Stone Road Open Group 4. Right, right, right. right. All right, Numbskull and that great big Dodge D200 going to make his second run. And that thing's a monster. Did good on the first round. Let's see how he does this time. There he's off. It's up on top of the rocks. He's loving it. He's down through the logs. Takes one with him. Wiped out the blindman at the bottom. The guys at the flight can't tell if they jumped out of the way. If they got wiped out, that was still over top of the line. Full run, and he is wiped out right there. And there's our guys. They look like they're pretty much okay. We got the Mountain Munchkin team down there watching the track, and they are tough hombres. Look at that. Looks like they might have just jumped out of the way of that log just in time, or that log might have got them a bit. Not sure. Numbskull made it over on his side with a bonus distance of 9.5 centimeters. As long as you make it over the line, it still counts. Checking out the Eagler Re playing slow motion let's see what happened there you can see him he's just going he's loving it he's up on top of that it gets squirrely through the deep stuff holds onto it gets into the logs he's almost over the edge and off the track pulls back on hurls himself over top of the line and doesn't help the bonus distance much but still walks out with a 5.89 time and 9.5 centimeters right right two, two. Second run for Speedball Herman from Gravity Throttle Racing in that Jeep Wrangler, and he's doing way better than the Jeep Sitter on the first round. Anyways, here he goes. He's down. He's on top of it, loving it. Getting a little slower in the deep stuff there. Coming up to the logs, breezes through those, no problem, and holds the landing out the end. 6.94 time. Look at that excellent look and run right there. Just sitting pretty out there in the sand trap at the end. Checking out the top down, bottom up cam. There he is. Looks beautiful. Holds on to that run because there's some skill inside of that driver right there. 20.5 centimeters is what he's getting for a bonus distance. I think that's a little slower and a little less than his first round time. We're going to hold on to that one, but still holds on to it. Nice. Gets on top of that. He's sliding back and forth. You got to negotiate those rocks. Gets through the deep stuff. Coming into the transfer onto the logs. Picks a beautiful line. Doesn't kick anything at the announcer's booth. Thank you very much for that. And out the very end, there he is. Speedball Herman walks away with a 6.94 time, 20.5 centimeters. Run, run three. three. Here we go. Steve Chase is going down for his second run inside of that big Dodge Power Wagon. It's got the extra weight inside there. It's got flames on the side of it. Corporate Team D, that makes it go faster. And here he goes. He's flying. He's got on top. Looks like he got slowed down a little bit. The logs that time again. It just ended up winding him up a little bit. Ended up with a 7.53 time on that run. A little bit slower than last time, but still made it look awesome. There he is down there. Checking it all out. And all that custom paint job he's got on that truck. Top down, bottom up. Cam, he's doing good. Didn't get as much speed. And looks like he had a little bit problems coming through the logs there. 
checking it out for a 14.5 centimeter bonus distance. A little bit shorter than the first run. Going to go with the first run time because we go with the best time of the round. Here he goes, Steve Chase. Chase Family Racing on top of it. Look at that tail end kick up. He is still holding on to it. Comes through the deep stuff, no problem. Gets all messed up in the logs, but was still able to negotiate his way through that. Gets out over top of the line. Nice run done by Steve Chase in that power wagon. 7.53 time and 14.5 centimeters. Right, right, four. Giorgio is going to be taking that Land Rover down for its second run from G-Force Racing, the relatively stock Majorette. Let's see how he does on this one here, and it's going to be over. He's over. Well, that didn't take very long at all. You're short off the line, and all of a sudden, it just got high-sided and went over. Looks like you got all that luggage and stuff up on top there. That means it's uh, going to be kind of top-heavy there, I guess. And there it is. Went over. Back door flew open, and uh, that's it for Giorgio there on that one. We got the crews right on scene as usual because they love what they do check that stuff out and looks like they're going to take a measurement for 65 centimeters is all Giorgio can muster on that one checking out the igloo replay on that one folks is going to be short there he is he just gets some good bounces that vehicle is really light and really top heavy it was uh pretty much inevitable that was going to happen there folks sooner or later so there it is Giorgio's second run in that Land Rover gets a DNF in 65 centimeters centimeters. Right by five. five. Baby Cookie getting ready to take that Junkyard Joe's Ford Bronco down. This is the premium version with the rubber tires. Did quite make it the first round. Let's see how she does on this. Going down, she got on top of it, getting some good speed and right into the deep stuff. And again, it just ate that Bronco. It just sucked right down into those rocks and didn't move. That premium's got a lot of weight to it and not very much clearance. So that might be it for Baby Cookie on that run into the rocks and didn't make it out of the deep stuff at the bottom 86.5 centimeters that's even a little less than she did on the first run let's check out the eagle replay and see if that kind of got any better at all looks like she's doing good at the top bouncing on top of the rocks that's what you want but once you start to sink in you sink in early and that's gonna write it off that's gonna be it you're done and there it is right there baby cookie junkyard joust in that bronco didn't get it on the second run ends up with 86.5 centimeters and and a DNF. Run, 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 six. Six. Here we go, sisters of the heavy metal in that Dr. Dodge camper van smoker. This time they've got a brisket and some ribs inside there. They're going down. Here she goes. This time it's Bobby Joe driving, and uh, she's doing a good job. Negotiates the logs, doesn't throw anything at anybody, and we are out the bottom right in front of the officials to check out what's going on inside of that smoker. That's why they're sitting right there just waiting for that thing to get to the bottom. What a beauty looking Frankenstein ride this thing has been. Dr. Dodge crew put this thing together out of a whole bunch of different other objects and stuff. Homemade as you can get. Pulls a 12.0 centimeter bonus distance out the bottom. Great looking ride. Great looking truck. And here we go. Igloo replay on the most delicious run we've had all night. And he's down. I mean, she's down. Bobby Joe driving this time in there and holding on to it. You see the articulation working in the back of that vehicle. Back and forth. It's rocking. Just relying on those back wheels and all that weight from that smoker on the back. Beauty run out the bottom for the Dr. Dodge Camper Van. Sisters of the Heavy Metal making it look great. 7.86 time and 12 centimeter run. All right, group four, round two results. We had Numbskull getting the fastest time. Gets three points. We're not quite getting the longest distance. Speedball Herman getting the longest distance this time. Gets the extra point for two. Steve Chase gets over the line with a good time for a one. Good Giorgio and Baby Cookie both coming out with zero points again. And Dr. Dodge and that smoker pulling one point off there. Final results for group four. Five points for Numbskull. Speedball Herman coming through with three points. Steve Chase, after getting a win, gets four points on that run. Giorgio and Baby Cookie both collect all the goose eggs right there. Points run for them is a bunch of zeros. And Dr. Dodge comes out with one point for a round, two points all together. So overall points winner for group four is going to be Numbskull with five points. 
That puts him number two in the overall qualifying list just behind Dusty Miles. Steve Chase and James Ironbeard and Speedball Herman all bump Dr. Dark down. Landlines and Dr. Dodge and Arlo are still in the list. And that's your finalists right there, folks. There it is, folks. We're getting some upgrades done on the Pebble Path because we're going to bring that online soon. Zone Road Open Group 4 Round 2 action saw the first three vehicles, including Numskull here, trying to wipe out our crew, and Speedball Herman followed up by Steve Chase, all making great runs just like they did in the first round. And then again, we had Giorgio got a DNF on his roof and on his side this time because he rolled it around this time. And again, Baby Cookie just couldn't make it down through the deep stuff, buried the front end there. And then Dr. Dodge, Sisters of the Heavy Metal, delivering dinner once again. Again. There you have it, folks. Wrapping up the qualifying rounds, we've got our top nine trucks going to be moving on to the next round. These three joining up with the other qualifiers. Each one of them laying down some superb runs in their respective groups, and now we're all going to go back one more time against each other in the finals. More off road action coming up on the Stone Road. Back down to you, boys. Blanton Lester up at the top of the mountain doing a great job. There you have it, the next vehicles making it into the finals for the Stone Road Open, our first mail-in event. Don't forget to subscribe and maybe hit that like button. We've got the Facebook, we've got the TikTok, lots of updates out there. Maybe even check out the Beaverworks store for some merchandise. That'd be really cool, folks. Till next time, thank you very much for coming out here and checking out our stuff. From Beaverworks Diecast Racing, we will see you in the finals.